uh, pressure coming out, and then it, it uses that pressure in the cylinder, in the rack and pinion cylinder, and it comes back into the reservoir. Fluid is something that some manufacturers request be changed every so often. Not all of them, there, but um, it does. It's an oil. It gets old and, and yeah. occasionally, uh, especially if something is, if the pump goes bad, there could be metal particles from the pump that get in the fluid. So that's mm -hmm. the time that, the, especially then, the fluid would want to be changed. So, so the fluid is oil that you're using. It is not engine it's oil, engine but it oil. is is an oil. Yes, okay. uh, it is a different fluid, and there are a couple, of, at least a couple of different fluids that are used. Most of the time, you could look on the. You take the cap off and there'd be a dipstick and it might have a spec for fluid there. Okay. So that would be one place to look, but of course the owner's manual or, or um, as a technician we check it all the time. We kind of get used to what brands of cars use what kind of yeah. fluids. So at least two, three fluids that we would normally use for power steering. So, um, so you're looking at, you're kind of studying hydraulics. Mm -hmm. um, the steering wheel gives an input which causes the, the power, the fluid assist from the pump to help push whichever direction your, your steering gives that input. So, well, does that kind of make sense to you how that yeah. might work? Mm -hmm. You can't see, you know, there's valving in here that doesn't really show, but that's, that's how that works. So. You doing shop meeting today? Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, let's see. You're maybe you're not looking at specifically automotive, but the cutaway view of that cylinder that might help you. Or is this is this totally about automotive or not necessarily just no? It's hydraulics? more about yeah, more uh, okay. hydraulics and pneumatics and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Well, here's a, here's a, a cutaway view of that, and you have a center seal, so. It, this is where the green means pressure in this diagram. So from this valving in here, when you turn the steering wheel, it allows that pressure to go on either side of that center seal, which pushes the cylinder back and forth and uh, moves the, the tires, because this is connected to the, to the through the spindle to the tires, which are out here. So, uh, you could see that in that previous picture. I guess it even has a way of showing us a turn here, so let's see what it does. Yeah, pressure on one side and and return on the other, makes it turn one way, and then uh, obviously the opposite goes the other way. Mm -hmm. Unrelated to hydraulics, a lot of the newer cars use electric motors now for, for assist, yeah. and uh, the column would not come into a valving like this. It has a it has no fluid in the in the power steering, but it has an electric motor, and it senses when you start to turn the wheel, and then it has an electric motor that that gives you the assist and makes it turn easy. Yeah. So. What other questions did you have about this? Um, like I'm pulled up. Uh, no, but um, like how would you start to build one of these? Like, oh. you, like how would you start to make one? Well. To, you know, the, the rack and pinion steering gear is obviously something that requires some very specialized yeah. manufacturing. It's not something that we can build. Uh, you know, as far as what we can do here in a shop is uh, there are seals here that can sometimes be replaced. And in this, this area here, this ball socket joint, which again is not really a hydraulic issue, but, but wears from steering and we replace those. But, but as far as what we do then, if if it's uh, leaking fluid, in most cases there are internal bushings and seals leaking and, and uh, remanufactured units are available for us so we would just replace the, the unit with an okay. exchange, the old one, for a new remanufactured unit. But, um, you know, if we were, uh, let's say, building a street rod where we are starting from scratch, we'd start with a pump and it doesn't, I don't know that it matters you know the pump has to just have a way of being driven so usually yeah. you look at mounting where a belt can drive it although there are some gear driven pumps on certain engines too but um, mostly belt driven and you would have to know what the pressure specification is for that, uh, that that it matches up with the rack and pinion so there are specifications for that 
Um, most of the power steering pumps that I've worked with, the, the maximum output pressure is like 2,000 pounds, so uh, it doesn't use that at maximum all the time. But the times it would get there would be when you turn it all the way to the end, if you've ever driven your car and you turn it all the way till the wheel won't turn anymore and you hear, hear that groaning, squealing noise. Excuse me. 